Hello, and welcome back to Foos Entertainment for our next review of 1989's Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers in 4K UHD. In this video, I will be talking about the rules of opinion of the movie, my opinion of the film, the plot synopsis, and we'll take a little bit of time to talk about the quality of the catalog title, let you know if you should go out and get this particular copy or not, and um, a Foos ranking. So let's go on to the plot synopsis. Because hell would not have him, Michael Myers survived the mine explosion thought to have killed him. One year later, his tormented young niece, Jamie Lloyd, played by Daniel Harris, Rob Zombie's Halloween, is horrified to discover she has a telepathic bond with her evil uncle, and that Uncle Michael is on his way back to Henfield. But Dr. Loomis, the legendary Donald Pleasance, has a new plan to destroy the boogeyman in his childhood home using Jamie as bait. Tonight, the carnage begins again. Michael Myers is back with a vengeance. All right. The rules of opinion. This is where it gets very, very different between me and the world. Because up to this point, there, there's been a lot of agreeing. This is one that breaks breaks it because I do not agree with society's opinion of this movie. This is society's opinion of this movie. Um, people that get paid to do what I do on YouTube, big YouTubers, um, they go ahead and they, they, they put this movie down as either this one or as Halloween, Halloween Resurrection. I mean, it comes to the original films, they, uh, they put them down almost as equally. I do not understand. I truly do not. Because, uh, well, I kind of understand why. There's a few things in this film that I will address real quick before I go on to my opinion. Why I believe the society has a problem with Halloween Find Revenge of Michael Myers is, beca is because they kill off the character of uh, Rachel very quickly in the film. Our final girl from the previous movie. Um, the way that they go ahead and have other characters to kind of replace that connection that you had before. The characters are very weak in comparison. But to me, that's not enough. That really, truly is not enough. Which is now we're going in my opinion. This is the beginning of what, this is the, like the middle section. They begun with part four. It goes into what's known as the Thorn timeline. The, the, the Thorn storyline of Halloween. And what that basically is, is it kind of explains the supernatural elements of, of Michael Myers in a more point by point basis. Because any real Halloween fan that actually understands Michael Myers will tell you that, that when um, Dr. Loomis says that he's not a man, he's evil. What he's referring to is that quite literally Michael Myers himself is not there anymore. You have some supernatural force, some evil spirit or entity or something like that. This actually took him over his body. Now, it's only been hinted that he's not human, that there's something there. We don't know what it is. Then Halloween 4, 5, and 6 kind of just answer what that is. And that's one of the things that people really don't like about this movie. As well as even more so the next film after it. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think I, I, I think they, they should have kept with the um, Thorn themeology because I think it really makes sense as to who and what Michael Myers actually is. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. 
Um, now let's go on to the catalog quality. This is this this one's um, uh, not as good as the first four in terms of the um, Dolby Vision Plus HDR10. Dolby Atmos, on the other hand, is actually very good in this. Now, do I say this is a terrible 4K? No, it's still quite a good 4K. And I think that what kind of causes it to look the way that it does is um, I feel that Halloween 5 is just filmed with a heavier layer of grain on the film. And that's probably what it is. It probably still has the, the, the reference quality um, 4K, Dolby Vision Plus HDR10 clear picture image that the other ones have. I think it just looks a little different because it, it actually has a heavier layer of grain on the film than the, the first four films have. And I always kind of thought that from every single version of the film I've seen in physical media, there's always kind of had a, a dark, you know, a bigger layer of, of grain, grainness to the look of the film. And that's probably why but, there are, but that, that, that doesn't happen all the time. There's actually multiple points in the movie to where um, it's very, very good looking and very beautiful to look at. The utmost quality is actually pretty good in this one. Uh, it's not as good as the first film or, or, or the fourth film, and to a degree the third film uh, with the Atmos effects, but it is actually a very atmospheric sound presentation so yeah definitely good now let's go on to the ranking of halloween 5 and this is where it's going to piss a lot of people off all right a lot of people would expect me to get this thing a two and a half star well i agree this is not a perfect movie all right i know that but i wouldn't say it's a bad movie either I'm going to go with, with the uh, rating of Great Movie. So I'm giving this thing a three stars. Not two stars, which means good movie. No, I'm giving it three stars, which means great movie. Because I think it's a great movie. And that's all I got to say about Halloween 5, Revenge of Michael Myers. And I will see you guys next time.